night, I figured I could do a quick fish room update and uh, just give a quick rundown. These are the convict cichlids that I'm picking one male out of to keep to go with the female I've already picked out that's in that tank. And then the rest are going to get uh, sold. And then along, along with the LG eaters, this is basically the tank where these fish are going away. And then this is our new dappled dust hound, Gus. His name's Gus, and he's absolutely adorable. And I just uploaded a video about him if anybody's interested in dust hounds or dash hounds or dachshunds or doxies, whatever you want to call them. Over here is a 29 gallon. It's looking pretty good. It needs the water to change because the water has a little bit of, uh, I don't know, algae bloom, I guess. And it's a little green, but I've been dosing fertilizer. It's pretty good and getting very good results with new leaf growth. Yes, these are not pretty plants. Yes, these are not aquascaped, really. They're just kind of in there. But that's not. I'm not going for like a pretty aquascape tank. I'm going for a realistic, nice green leaved plant tank planted tank but uh my little female and uh, there she is back there that's the one i've picked out so far out of that batch to keep and so i don't have the male yet she has um a parrot cichlid trait she is a parrot cichlid convict cichlid cross she's a very prominent red belly and blue fins the camera's kind of struggling to pick it up but that is the female i picked out to uh go with whatever male I decide to pick out still. I've not found a good male I want to keep yet. But yeah, this is the 29 gallon. It's doing fantastic. And now on to the 45 gallon. The 45 gallon isn't doing bad. The goldfish is going to be going away. The goldfish just produces way too much waste nowadays. He was cool. In the, it, it wasn't my fish to begin with. It was a relative's fish that decided it was too much for them and I took on just because they didn't want to get rid of it they still want to be able to see it or whatever so yeah da -da 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 -da. he ended up in my tank he's just too much for me now he just produces way too much waste he's cool to watch he's active he's pretty but um just too much way too much poop so he's gonna be going away as soon as i can uh rehome him and then everybody else is doing real good angel fish are doing great koi are doing great there was one dojo loach left of two I woke up the one day, and the other one was just not 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 alive. I don't know what else to say about it. It was just not one there. I mean, they're about two, almost two years old, maybe a little over. So, I mean, I don't know how long they live. I haven't looked it up. But, uh, yeah, they were big dudes or big girls or whatever you want to call them. They were long. Just the one left. He's doing perfectly fine. The other one was doing perfectly fine, too. And then woke up, and he was just not fine. <laughs> so... It is what it is kind of uh, upset me a good amount because of all the fish in here, the, I call them long boys. That's why I called them. And they are my favorite fish to watch besides the koi. I'm not all that into the angelfish anymore. The angelfish just kind of like this hang out and stare at each other. They really don't They really do not do all that much. Or well, they just get pissed off. Because this is a pair and that's a pair. And this is just the random guy down here. He's the only veil tailed angel. He doesn't have a pair or a partner. But, uh, yeah, they just, like, hang out and stare at each other. So, yeah. This tank is really not doing too much for me. I really am not too into it now since the dojo loach died and whatever. Like I have said in previous videos, if you happen to watch them. Angelfish probably going to be going away altogether in not too long. I'm not the biggest fan of that one or this one at all. So, they'll probably be going away a lot sooner than the other ones. But I want to do a koi specific cold water fish tank. Obviously, it's going to be a big fish tank, like a six or eight foot long fish tank. It's going to be something massive after I move to a larger place to accommodate that. They're going to have an absolute massive tank to uh, grow out in because I'm really interested in a koi tank right now. That's uh, pretty much what's going to be happening with this channel, I think. After all these fish either move on or uh, pass on, there's just going to be koi left, I'm thinking, because I'm not too into any of the other fish right now, currently, with tropical fish. I'm just into koi. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is a quick fish room update. Just wanted to say hi, and, uh, yeah, give me your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.